Hello. I have bad news for everyone. I have been cursed. And the name of the curse is Tetramino Slide. Uh, this is a game that a friend of mine showed me recently. Uh, it looks innocent enough. It's a Tetris game, and moreover, there's no gravity. You can take as long as you'd like to rotate your piece, move it left and right. But there is uh, only one drop speed, and it's instant. Uh, so again, that seems reasonable, like, if you have all the time in the world to figure out where to put your piece, you, uh, wouldn't really expect to need to soft drop or drop at any other speed, unless you wanted to, like, T-spin or something, but we, we won't need to do that, because our goal is to just clear four rows at once to win. Uh, that's all we need to do, get, i.e., a Tetris. Which, uh, you know, if you've played Tetris to any reasonable extent, you've done probably 500,000 times. So we'll place another piece. Uh, this one can go here. This one, uh, it's controversial. Some people would put it to the left of the T. Other people would put it uh, up here, uh, trying to build up your side columns. You're, you're not as likely to need to uh, place more pieces on top of them. So it's like... Uh, Maybe it's better to prioritize absolute flatness of as much of the central area as possible. It's one way to think of it. So along that line, I can put this here. All right, uh, seems to me like we should uh, put this somewhere on the left side. Um, so let's just do that. Oh, what's this? Yes, this is the actual challenge of the game. If uh, if you were wondering <laughs> why I was playing this Tetris game, this is where it gets interesting. So, if it's not obvious, what's happening is every time I press left or right, all of the pieces currently in the well are going to slide over as far as they can in that direction. Uh, furthermore, I'll show you this. Uh, if I drop this now, the O block on the far left is also going to fall. It makes all of the pieces that are like hovering on screen drop simultaneously. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. Simple enough, right? Uh, and yet, as I say, this has been a curse. I really, really want to figure out how to beat it. As you can see, getting a line or two, eh, not that hard. But uh, actually clearing a Tetris has so far been completely beyond me. Um, a friend of mine has figured out how to do it, but I, I'm not going to ask her how, <laughs> how she did it. Uh, another friend of mine says that he learned the trick from her, but he hasn't bothered actually going about doing it. So that gives me kind of a clue that it's not something that as soon as you know how to do it, it's trivial. It probably still kind of requires some good piece sequencing, some kind of improvisational thinking. Uh, and it's more just kind of like a general thing that you're trying to set up. The only other clue I have is that same friend who said uh, that he got the trick from her but hasn't actually tried beating it yet, uh, said that what, what you need to know is good SRS movement finesse. So SRS is the standard rotation system. That's what it stands for, right? Uh, oops. Super rotation system. Uh, so this is how the pieces rotate, all from like the same left-right position in the well. So you can see that things kind of move over, and that means that they can move over. Like this is a good example. You see how it's in two different columns by doing this. So I I know that that's part of the trick. And the other thing you can do with this is uh, like if I want to get this to the column one from the right. It's like faster to do, like I could do this, right? Bop, 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 bop. Okay, but it's it's a lot faster. I think this is the same position to go like bop, 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 bop. Oh, no, no, one, one more. Yeah, so that's like less inputs, which matters a lot, which matters a lot when you're uh, trying to play as quickly as possible. Um, but it's also, 
less inputs in terms of left-right inputs, which could matter. I mean, I kind of get how that could matter, but at the same time, it's like as soon as you've moved once in a given direction, you're going to have all of the pieces shift over. So the difference between like this input buh, 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 and that faster one that I showed you, oops, right, is like there's none because we've still gone. Oh, wait, no, I'm an idiot. Okay, hold on, hold on. I just, I figured it out while I was doing it. Okay, I'm glad I made this video and, and tried to explain my thought processes. Okay, so it's not. <laughs> of course it's not. In order to it's obvious that it's not. So this is, again, my first method. We just have it vertical because we don't know about super rotation system because we didn't get that hint and think to look it up. Um, well, I mean, I knew what SRS was. I just, like, didn't think about using it in this game. All right, so... My first initial strategy is moving it vertically to get it into this column uh, and yet put it on blank ground. I need to go like this and then this. Wait, does this make sense? And then, but if I SRS, I, gotta, I guess I gotta wait. <laughs> I shouldn't have actually dropped it. I gotta wait for another I piece. Uh, right now I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. I, I don't know if what I just said makes sense, actually. I think I, I kind of confused myself a bit. Because if I, OK, what am I trying to achieve with SRS that I can't normally? I don't have to press left again on the final input. But then if I didn't want the effect of that, I would just not, I would just like stop at that column and drop it immediately instead of going all the way to the left. And like, what I'm trying to achieve is uh, having the ability to put blank ground, like put a eyepiece on blank ground right at the side, which I think is just straight up impossible. Like there I, there I did something kind of cute and I guess the rest of it. But, well, wait, okay, all right, we got another eyepiece. So, you can't SRS into the wall. Because you're always gonna just get you can the closest you can get is this most this column. <sighs> See the thing is it's really hard to clear anywhere besides the extreme right and left. Because of course um, the the things will like move over there as soon as you start heading in that direction. Okay, let me try this. Okay. Oh boy. So we're building up nicely on that wall, but we can never get a Tetris there because So the SRS hints, I still don't quite get it. There's no way I can use SRS to get anything useful out of my uh, eyepiece buddy here. Just keep clearing single lines. How come my record's not going up? Have I not been at 100 this entire time? Or like since the first line clear? Or is it the record is for most simultaneous line clears? Yeah, now it's 200. Okay. All right, so we got 200. Let's start a new game. Let's really try to think. Okay, so we need to end up with a central hole, okay? But the problem with that is that, like, we can do this, but we're still making a side hole. So I think what we can SRS some pieces to the far wall. So let's just keep kind of playing normally right now. But the pieces we can SRS to the sidewall like that. Eh. Wait, can I go? Yeah, I can go this way then. No, no wait, no. Oh, God, no. <sighs> what am I trying to do here? Uh... Okay, okay. 
So this is good. Okay, so the problem is all that work we did to get a single well will be undone if we press left or right. <laughs> okay, so the options available to us are just these. Um, I think this is good, because now all that happens is the uh, this guy slides back and forth, but we still have the, the makings of a central well. Uh, so what we need to do, this is kind of like playing secret grade Tetris, which is where you try to make patterns with bricks and holes and stuff. Uh, and, and you need to like strategically clear lines. So it's like if I put this there, uh, uh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. If we get a, if we get another uh, R brick, we can clear a line. Yes, yes. Okay, we just gotta fold out until R brick. There we go. Wait, I thought I could. Uh, oh, oh, okay, all right. I knew it, I knew it. I, I just had to keep messing with it. Okay, so check this out. Now we've got two, uh, two holes stacked up in that one column, right? So that means that eventually, hypothetically, oh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, it's all like attached itself now, hasn't it? Oops. Well, I don't know. I think we already screwed it up. But I don't know how I was supposed to avoid that. This is hard, right? And anyone watching this, you would agree with me that this seems hard and that it is hard. I mean, first it kind of seems easy, but then, you know, once you spent any serious time trying it, it's actually quite hard. And, and it makes me kind of remember that, like, I'm good at Tetris insofar as I can play, like, seven bag Tetris pretty quickly. That's, like, the only skill that I have in Tetris. And yet I go around saying that I'm quote-unquote good at Tetris. Uh, see, I think this was doomed from the start, because we want our column of holes to be somewhere that this can get to without going left or right, because as soon as we have the open column of holes, we plus press left or right, it'll just close up. Anyways, the Tetris is a game that has like a very, very diverse uh, relevant skill set. And, and what I can do well is just one tiny, tiny portion of the, the game. Um, so, I don't know, it's like I still expect to be good at this because it's like Tetris related. Um, and yet, you know, like my, my friend who figured it out, she's really good at like actual uh, playing um, like modern competitive Tetris and like TGM and stuff like that. Which requires a lot more like kind of strategy around piece placement and stuff, uh, either because you're trying to like maximize the efficiency of your T spin setups or your combos, or you're trying to make do with like a much more unforgiving RNG, uh, like the TGM 63 bag or however it works versus 7 bag. Uh, I've explained what those are so many times. You should just look up. Uh, I I'm using Tetris Wiki? I I'm actually embarrassed. I don't know. I was just Googling SRS, I guess, or DIS. Wow. That's not what I meant to search for. Hard drop. This is a good site. Uh, and all of this content, I'm pretty sure, is just stolen directly from there. Um, anyways, yeah, you can look up all of those randomizers on here. Uh, we're dead. So we're starting again. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not really especially good at those types of games. Like, I think I'm better than most people, but that's just because I can play the sort of Tetris I can play incredibly quickly. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually really cut out to do something like this. 
This might be a puzzle that requires such things as group theory, um, homotopy type theory, <laughs> graph theory, uh, category theory. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll keep messing around with it though. Wait, what, what is my strategy here though? I think this is already a reset. Because I don't have enough space to build any any uh, stuff on the side. Yeah. Um. So this. Hmm. Uh, okay. So this is good. L last input can be left, and yet you can touch the far side. So, so we want last input right and can still reach the, the far side. I guess so just opening the SRS guide probably can just show me what I'm looking for here. Okay. Yeah, you see, it's just the stupid Tetris wiki. The fact that that shows up in Google search results before hard drop wiki, or uh, there's another good one on Another Tetris site that I forgot. Okay. Uh, this is about twists and kicks and spins and stuff. And that's not what we need because we can't even soft drop. <laughs> uh, so we want things that shift. Uh, like one to the either direction. So like this, the R piece can go here and build up here, and the L piece can go here. Ah, oh, it's like so hard to actually build with just that though, because like how how is that even gonna work? And how are we gonna have space for all of our other things? But like, what else can go in that far column? We need to build up four in each of these columns uh, in order for us to have a four tall, all but the IP central well. And nothing else is going to be able to reach the furthest column. Ah, oh my god, it's so hard. It, it must be so hard. There's not... I. I, I think it's genuinely just really hard, and I can't, I just can't think of, like, it's not like there's a trick. It's not like there's, like, this easy thing that I just have to think of. I think it's just as hard as it seems. Also, thinking about my friend who knows what he described as the trick, but uh, not bother trying to actually do it himself says a lot, given <laughs> what I know about that friend, who's always up for a puzzle challenge. Uh, so <laughs> it's it's probably just as hard as it seems. And kudos to my other friend for grinding it out. <sighs> Is this already rip? Where does the eyepiece go? Yeah, I think this is already rip. Uh, no, yeah, it's got to be one of the middle two. That's so hard. I, it really feels like a lot of it just relies on getting a good piece sequence too, right? Because there's things you can only do with the R and L pieces in terms of placing things in these columns. Oh, whoa, okay, I see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, this is kind of stupid, but... Wait a minute. That's cool. Isn't that fun? I mean, this game is, like, pretty sweet. I, I think I still have really enjoyed my time, and just, like... Screwing around and getting random uh, two line clears and one line clears and stuff is still pretty satisfying. 
So even if I don't beat it, I've had a, a fun time. Okay, but what I'd like, I'd like to do a, a three clear. I haven't done a three clear yet. Um, I don't think it should be too, too hard. Oh wait, am I going on the wrong side? Maybe. So I can put the three clear plausible. Oh, wait, I thought I still had that open. Um, hmm. Hmm, that's not good. And that's not good. Okay, so to do a three clear, I have to use the middle well strategy as well. Hmm, middle well strategy as well. Middle well strategy also. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There must be something I'm, over I'm overlooking. Maybe there's, like, maybe I'm underestimating some of the bonus mechanics, like the fact that you can um, slide pieces underneath each other, like, with the next placement. Seems like it has a lot of potential. Uh, the fact that you can ah, ah, wait, wait, wait. there we go. Uh, the the dropping, like the simultaneous piece dropping. I feel like you should be able to do something with. I don't know what, but just something. Man, it's so hard. <laughs> Why does it have to be so hard and yet so related to Tetris? And and also that I'm bad at it. <laughs> I'm fine with lots of other things that are hard and related to Tetris. But at least let me be good at it. Jeez. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll give up. So this is a good Seinfeld episode worth of sliding bricks around. Let me know if you have any ideas. I, I don't feel like directly asking my, my friend who's actually cleared it, because I know she just has the right answer. <laughs> um, but I want to try a lot of things, you know? Like, if you think you know how to do it, but you're too lazy to, to kind of grind it out, you can let me know. Or just try it yourself. As I said, it's kind of fun. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, look, look at that. I, I cleared a row because I had some stuff suspended over top of where the column was. Oh, um, maybe that's the chair? Oh, man, I don't know. I don't care anymore. Or, yes, I do, but I, I, I'm, I'm done for now. Bye.